as is always the case on orbit, a dramatic sunrise, which improves our view into the uh, end effector of Atlantis's robotic arm. This is a view from the camera at the aft end of the payload bay on the port side, uh, tilted up, looking into the, uh, the business end of the uh, robotic arm as mission specialists Megan MacArthur and Mike Massimino prepare to begin the uh, survey of the uh, payload bay and the uh, various systems located in the payload bay for this Hubble Space Telescope servicing mission, including the flight support system, the uh, platform upon which Hubble will be uh, berthed, and the, uh, the several racks which are bringing up the new equipment and will bring home the old equipment. Those include the super lightweight interchangeable carrier, the orbital replacement unit carrier, and the multi-use logistic equipment carrier. The survey of the payload bay will also uh, take a look at the uh, other items standard inside the uh, shuttle payload bay, including the uh, tool uh, support assemblies, which are uh, either side of the uh, airlock which uh, in this case is uh, out in the payload bay of the shuttle as well. This upcoming survey of Atlantis's crew cabin is uh, part of the uh, flight plan on this flight because there is no uh, rendezvous pitch maneuver imagery available as there has been on each previous space shuttle flight since the loss of Columbia on all of those rendezvous with the International Space Station. Uh, shuttle commanders have uh, flown up to a distance of some 600 feet below the International Space Station and then performed a head over tail backflip to expose the underside of the uh, shuttle to the uh, cameras wielded by Space Station crew members shooting uh, with uh, high powered lenses through the windows in the uh, Earth-facing side of the space station back in the Zvezda module. Since this flight is not going to the International Space Station, there will be no uh, RPM uh, pictures available. So uh, the current survey will be conducted uh, in daylight. Today's crew cabin survey designed to look for any indications of uh, damage that might have been suffered on any areas of the orbiter during its ride to orbit this afternoon. This data, this imagery, will be combined with uh, that already captured by cameras on the ground, as well as uh, other data still on board Atlantis still to be downlinked to the ground, including the uh, imagery from the uh, umbilical well camera of the external tank after its separation and likewise a video from a camera on the external tank itself looking at the uh, underside of the shuttle plus data gathered by the uh, sensors in the leading edges of the uh, shuttle's wings all of that information along with that to be gathered tomorrow during a uh, survey using the uh, orbiter boom sensor system with its uh, cameras and uh, laser imagers will be uh, scrutinized by the specialists here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston looking for uh, any evidence of any damage to the uh, shuttle's thermal protection system. Mission specialist Mike Massimino in the area of the controls of the uh, robot arm. You too, Bueno. And John. That's Scooter. Oh, there he is. Commander Scott Altman appearing in that window on the left with a wave to the camera. Houston, stop recording. Copy.
Now in the window at the bottom of the screen, Mission Specialist Drew Foistel getting a look at the camera. Drew, uh, we see you. Looking good. And now the uh, robotic arm continues to move aft. We're uh, moving across the top of the uh, external airlock. The uh, hatch uh, facing aft, uh, just in the lower right-hand portion of our screen, is the hatch through which the spacewalkers will uh, exit for the uh, five spacewalks coming up starting Thursday. And the uh, orange colored apparatus is the uh, super lightweight interchangeable carrier. The camera's now moved uh, outside of the sill and looking down in the radiator, on the inside of the uh, port payload bay door. Now in the view, the uh, leading edge of the uh, port wing. Now beyond the leading edge, as the camera begins to uh, move back toward the uh, body of the shuttle, this time uh, focusing on those reinforced carbon-carbon panels along the uh, shuttle's port wing. 